hi guys welcome back to new video of easy tutorials and today in this video we will create this web page that you can see on my computer screen we will create this website using html and css step by step so without wasting any time let's quickly start this video here i have one folder and in this folder i have one html file and one css file i have one more folder with some images you can find all these images link in the video description now i will open my text editor which is brackets editor so this is my html file and this one is CSS file. I have already connected HTML file with CSS with this line of code. Next we will come to the body and here we will create one div with the class name header. Let's copy this class name header and come to the CSS file edit here. For this one we will set height and width. Next we will add background image, URL and the image file path. Next we will add background size and background position. Let's open this HTML file with Google Chrome so that you can see this image on complete web page. Next we will add a dark layer on this image so come to the CSS file remove it and here we will add linear gradient and one color code and second color code then image file path. So after adding this Let's refresh the web page again and now you can see a dark layer on the background image. Next we will come back to the HTML file and here we will create one div with the class name container. Copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file. And for this container we will add maximum width, it will be 1200 pixel and margin and padding. Let's come back in HTML file and here we will add one div with the class name navbar and in this navbar first we will add one image which is for logo and after that i will add one nav tag where we will add navigation links here we will add ul and li and anchor tag so in this a tag we will add one text which is web design let's duplicate it and change the text So now we have four menu. After this snap we will add one more image which is for user image. That's it. Save these changes, reload the web page and you can see this logo and user icon and four menu on this web page. Next we have to align it horizontally so just copy this class name navbar, write it here in this CSS file. For this one we will add width 100%, display will be flex and align items center. Then justify content it will be a space between and padding 25 pixel and 0. Reload the web page now you can see it is in horizontal line. Next we have to move this menu on the right side so just copy this one write it here and for this one we will write flex 1 and text align right that's it. So now it is in right side. Next we will add some class name so here I am adding the class name logo and for this image I will write the class name user icon. Just copy the class name logo and write it here in this CSS file. So for this logo we will set the width and cursor pointer. Now we will copy the class name for the user icon and for this one we will set width 30 pixel and there will be border radius it will be 50% and cursor will be pointer. That's it, reload the web page. Now you can see a small logo and a small user icon. Next we have to design the navigation menu. So here we will write nav, ul and li. For this one we will add uh, display inline block, list style it will be none and margin from the right side. Let's reload the web page and now you can see it is in horizontal line. Next we will copy it again and here we will write a for the anchor tag. For this one we will set the text decoration none and color. Then font size and padding. Now it looks good. Next we have to add hover effect on this menu. So just come back and just copy it then write hover. And here we will add border, bottom, one pixel solid and this color. 
reload the web page now you can see a border bottom color when we will hover this menu next we will come back to the html file and here we will create one more div with the class name content and here i am adding the title in h1 so the title is make html and css website next we will add some description in p tag so this is the description and it will load the web page now you can see this text and description on this web page next we have to change the color and add some margin from the top so just come back and copy this one write it here in the css file for this one we will write max width and color and margin from the top now it looks good next we will add h1 for the h1 we will write font size and line height and letter spacing 1 pixel then margin 15 pixel and 0 now you can see increased font size for h1 next we will write for p for this p we will write font size 12 pixel and line height 22 pixel now you can see the description is very small next we will add color in this text so here i am adding span open tag and we will close it here same thing we will add in css so we have added a span open and close for html and css just copy this span and write it here in this css file for this one we will write color that's it so now you can see different color for html and css next we will add two buttons so let's come here and first we will add one div with the class name btn box first we will add one button and button text will be learn more duplicate it and change the button text it will be explore reload the web page now you can see two buttons here next we have to add some space from top so just copy this class name write it here and for this class name we will add margin from the top so now you can see some space above this button let's write button here and for this button we will set the width and border it will be one pixel solid and this color then color will be white and padding of 10 pixel then i am adding margin from the right side and border radius it will be 25 pixel and cursor pointer then background the same color so now you can see the button looks like this next we will add different background color in second button so for the second button we will add one class name btn copy this class name write it here and here we will add this border it will be white and background it will be transparent that's it now you can see the second button looks different next we will add one sidebar so just come back in the html file and here we will add one div with the class name sidebar just copy this class name and come to the css file for this one we will set the width it will be 80 pixel and height will be 100 vh and background will be black then position absolute top 0 and left 0 reload the web page now you can see a black sidebar next we will add some image here so here i am adding image and the image file name here we will add one more class name logo icon so right now you can see this image here so let's write this class name here for this one we will set the width 20 pixel and margin and cursor pointer now you can see perfect size for this icon next we will add some social media icons so come to the html file and here we will create one div with the class name social links and let's add icons here so i'm using img and the source and the file name duplicate it and change the image file name it is for instagram and this one is for twitter reload the web page and now you can see all icons here so we have to design it so just copy this class name here and here we will write width 80 pixel and position will be absolute bottom 20 pixel and uh, after that we'll copy the same class name then write img here we will write height display 
and margin and cursor pointer that's it so now you can see these social media icons at the left bottom corner so this is how you can create beautiful website layout using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if so please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe easy tutorials youtube channel to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video